what group of comics is really strict when it comes to law enforcement? The Copper Age. Ah, Silver Age first appearance coming up next. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, my comic book collectors and power watchers? My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And this is a comic that I've never owned before. This is a uh, first appearance of a Silver Age hero, and I want to do the unboxing. Now, I already did the top parts, so it would make it a little quicker when I open the box. But um, this is always fun when you get a book you've never had before and you definitely wanted now this was an expensive book not majorly expensive but you guys know me i love to get deals because you got to know what's the dealio so i want to hopefully when people see these videos i hope they don't view them as me trying to brag or anything what i'm trying to do is inspire people to know that if you're patient if you do your research if you add a little luck to it, and if you trust your instincts, you will find deals. You just may not find them right away. Now, this is a book that I've wanted for probably about two years. And there were many auctions that had this comic listed. And it was either too expensive, or I missed out on it because the bidding went higher than I wanted. Uh, some of them is just I saw the price for the grade that they were looking to sell, and I said, no thanks. So sometimes you gotta pass things up. So, I don't know if you just saw it, but it doesn't matter. Um, make sure, before I show this, that you wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. You do need to be a subscriber. If you want one, just ask. And the reason that I always ask people to leave a comment for the person that is the surprise subscriber shout out, 90% of them ask for it, which means they're looking forward to seeing their username or their actual name on the screen. So it means something to them. So if you guys in the comment section also add to that, it just makes somebody's day. And speaking of making somebody's day, for all of you that love my cat, he's right on cue. So um, it's my way of saying thank you to people that take the time to watch my videos. And that's why I um, call the people that watch entire videos my power viewers, because I want them to know that they're extra special. Because it's nice that people watch a video, it's nice that they thumb it up, but if they don't really watch it, what are you getting out of it? So if you're one of those power watchers, or power viewers, however you want to call it, make your presence known in the comments section. Let the people know that you're one of the people that is here, not just to thumb it down or thumb it up, but to actually watch it and maybe get something from it. So, without further ado, let me show the comic book. And I always tell the price, which so many people appreciate. And this is Tales to Astonish, issue number 44, which is the first appearance and origin of the Wasp. Now, um, she may or may not get her own solo movie. I mean, she was pretty much the almost equal to Ant-Man in the last Ant-Man movie in Ant-Man 2. Um, I like the character. They didn't go full SJW with it, so I could tolerate it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But this is a lower grade book. The prices are pretty reasonable at this point. Now, obviously, if you're talking... 6.0s and higher, you're going to be spending in the $1,000 range. But this is probably about a 2.0, maybe a 2.5. does have some tape residue, which I never could stand that because they said the staples are intact. So I will obviously have to open it up. And that's one thing I highly recommend is you open up the book because this does seem a little thin. So you know what? Let's open it live. Well, not live, but open it. And inspect it, because if there if this is not complete, then I will return it. Alright, so it looks like it's got off-white pages. Okay, so it definitely looks complete. It just seemed like in the pack, in the bag and board. Alright, so the coupons are all intact. This is something I highly recommend people do. 
is actually open the book. Okay, you can see that the centerfold is completely intact. Staples look good. Just keep in mind, grading has to do with things like fingerprints, the color of the staples. If page 17 has a bend in it, and on cue, there's a little bend in the corner there, but that could be pressed out. You know, there's a lot more than just looking at the cover and saying, oh, that's a 4.0 or something. See, so the staples are intact. They are barely hanging on, but somebody decided to put tape on it. So I guess that was extra support, but obviously this is, you know, these were purchased by kids. Here's the back. So you can see the back. You know, it's got a couple of little stains, but it's complete. And um, like I said, even with the tape, you can have that up to, I think, a 4 or a 5.0. So this is, like I said, about a 2.0. But you can see now it's complete. I paid with shipping and handling. Now, 0 0.5 goes for about 200 to $250. So this isn't a cheap book, even in lower grade. I mean, obviously, that's not something that, you know, you have to sell your house or your car or your family for. But, you know, I didn't pay even the 0 0.5 price. Because you wait for deals, pass up on ones, and uh, you'll finally get one. Trust me. Well, then it doesn't have to be this. It could be anything you want. All right, I'm beating around the bush. I got a whole five hours of sleep today, so I'm actually going in the right direction. Um, I paid a total of $181, which includes shipping and handling. So even if this was to come back a 0 0.5, which it wouldn't, um, I would have still paid under what the current value, fair market value of this book is. Now, what direction it goes at this point, that remains to be seen, but it is still a first appearance of a minor character. I'm not going to sit here and say this is anywhere comparable to Spider-Man, Batman, or anything like that, but still, she was just in a recent movie. You will see her again. I'm pretty sure about that. She, who knows, maybe she gets her own, you know, film or gets a bigger role in another movie. Who knows? But it was worth taking the chance on for the price. And that's why I tell people all the time, like I said earlier, be patient. Trust your instincts. If you want something, see, the problem is these are not necessities. You can live without a comic. You will survive without a comic. You won't survive without air, water, food, and things like that, shelter. So this is a need and a want. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not a need. It's a want, which means... When somebody wants something, they want to get it right at that moment. And patience usually doesn't really set in. And that's when you tend to overpay. Don't do that. If you can allow yourself to wait, there will always be deals. And I got plenty more that will show that. And I want to keep showing that to let you know that if you put in the effort, you will find deals. Now, obviously, if you go to places like if you want to do the work, if you want to go to yard sales at six o'clock in the morning and drive all over your state if you want to go from antique shop to you know um all different like flea markets and things like that if you're willing to put in that effort you'll probably even get better deals if you're looking to do trades it depends on the effort that you want to do to me time is money i don't want to be wasting gas all day driving all over the place and spend you know 16 hours a day going through long boxes in 20 different stores that's just not my cup of tea I like the fact that I can go on eBay until, uh, you know, 3, 4, 5 in the morning, look for deals, and have it mailed directly to my house. So it depends on the effort. You get what you give. If you give nothing, don't be too shocked that you get nothing. So I'm rambling today. I guess it's the excitement of getting a total of five hours of sleep, which is a record for the past two and a half, three weeks. I average between 50 minutes and um, three hours, but I'm sure most of you don't care. If you do, let me know you care. That's what I care about. And tell me if you're a power watcher. If you watched until the end, make sure you let me know what this is. And this is one of the pyramids that I make. And that's a story for another time. So if you watched until the end, you saw that pyramid, you will state that in the comment section. If you are so kind, please leave a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you part of my channel. Please help share my videos, get them out there, post them on your social networks. The more you help me, the more I can help you and others. So I appreciate those who will be kind enough to do that for me. And uh, don't forget to wait until the end. And if you want one of those shout outs, just let me know. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And boy, what a manly pose Ant-Man has right there.
Oh. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.